Every individual, at some point in their journey, encounters a compelling urge to exert influence over their surroundings, circumstances, and sometimes even the people in their lives. This innate desire to control, to mold our environment to our preferences, is deeply rooted in our evolutionary heritage. As our ancestors faced the unpredictable vicissitudes of the wild, they learned that control often translated to survival. Whether through mastering fire, crafting tools, or establishing societal structures, the more dominion they asserted over their environment, the safer and more secure they felt. However, in today's world, the quest for control has evolved into a more nuanced and occasionally a, a more insidious endeavor. It's no longer solely about survival. We chase control to uphold our social standing, maintain our self-image, and navigate the uncertainties of a rapidly evolving society. We're often led to believe that by managing external variables, we can secure favorable outcomes, thus alleviating feelings of insecurity, vulnerability, and fear. Yet, what we often regard as control is largely illusory, a construct we've fashioned to offer ourselves a semblance of security. Despite our most meticulous plans, life can unfurl unexpected events, reminding us of the tenuous nature of our supposed control. This relentless pursuit of control and the inherent resistance when outcomes defy our expectations engender significant stress and tension. Such a state not only impairs our mental and physical health, but also blinds us to the myriad possibilities life offers. We become so engrossed in a singular outcome or mode of existence that we overlook alternative solutions, opportunities, or pathways that could lead us to unforeseen and potentially more fulfilling destinations. Surrender, often misconstrued as a symbol of defeat or weakness, is, in reality, an act of profound strength and deep self-awareness. It signifies a conscious choice to acknowledge that while we play a crucial role in sculpting our fate, there exist external forces and a higher intelligence at play, often eluding our comprehension. Surrendering is about placing trust in the natural progression of life, believing in a guiding force that, although not always immediately apparent, orchestrates our existence towards a greater good. Surrender is not about passive acceptance, but about transitioning from rigidity and fixed expectations to a stance of openness and receptivity. We continue to set intentions, pursue our objectives, and make deliberate choices. But we do so with an understanding that the universe operates on its own terms, with its rhythms and reasons. Nature, in its majestic complexity, does not resist or coerce. It simply exists. A seed effortlessly transforms into a tree, nurtured by its environment, and birds undertake vast migrations, guided by instinct. This effortless existence is a profound lesson for us. When we align with the universe's flow instead of resisting it, we navigate life's challenges with grace, transforming obstacles into stepping stones towards growth. In today's world, characterized by immediate solutions and the illusion of control, through the mere touch of a screen, we ironically find ourselves feeling more adrift, swamped by the plethora of choices and the unyielding speed of existence. It is within this context that the profound effect of surrender reveals itself, teaching us that the path to progress is not always paved with relentless effort, but sometimes found in the act of letting go. This notion of surrender does not suggest a passive resignation, but rather an active acceptance of the limits of our control. It's a concept that finds resonance in a variety of non-fiction and ancient wisdom traditions, offering a counterintuitive approach to navigating the complexities of modern life. Eckhart Tolle, 
in the power of now, articulates the liberating force of living in the present moment. By surrendering to the now, we liberate ourselves from the burden of past regrets and future anxieties, discovering a sense of peace and empowerment in acknowledging what we can and cannot control. The Tao Te Ching, an ancient Chinese text attributed to the sage Laozi, espouses the virtue of Wu Wai, or non-action. This principle encourages us to align with the natural flow of life, rather than opposing it with force. In the context of the modern era's challenges, Wu Wei embodies the essence of strategic surrender, suggesting that efficiency and achievement often result from harmonizing with circumstances rather than attempting to dominate them. Similarly, in the realm of psychology, the concept of flow, introduced by Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi Mahali in his seminal workflow, the psychology of optimal experience, aligns with this philosophy. Flow occurs when we are fully immersed in an activity, a state often achieved not through forceful effort, but through a surrender to the task at hand, leading to heightened creativity and productivity and productivity. The transformative power of surrender, therefore, lies in recognizing that control is not always synonymous with strength. In an era overwhelmed by speed and choice, the ability to let go offers a pathway to simplicity and clarity. It allows us to navigate life's complexities with grace, understanding that the essence of progress sometimes lies not in conquering each challenge with brute force, but in our capacity to release, adapt, and flow with the unfolding tapestry of our lives. By embracing surrender as a strategy, we find a method to cope with the modern world's demands. Realizing that in the space created by letting go, we often encounter the solutions and peace we seek. This approach does not diminish our agency, but rather enhances it, providing a means to move forward with intention and resilience, even in the face of life's inevitable uncertainties and the dizzying pace of contemporary existence, and the dizing pace of contemporary existence. In an age that glorifies the relentless pursuit of goals, the act of surrender teaches us that sometimes the most meaningful manifestations arise, not from tightening our grip, but from opening our hands and hearts to the possibilities that the universe has to offer. This realization frees us from the confines of our limited perceptions, allowing the universe's grand design to unfold in its timing often bringing forth outcomes more beautiful and profound than we could have ever imagined. Surrender and vulnerability are often misunderstood as hallmarks of fragility, yet, in truth, they signify tremendous fortitude, bravery, and a profound bond with the continuum of life. These qualities instruct us in humility highlighting our role within an entity far vaster, intricate, and marvelous than we can comprehend. As we tread the fine line between purposeful action and letting go, between envisioning our futures and placing our trust in the unfolding of life, we find that existence not only flows more smoothly, but also becomes significantly more fulfilling. This perspective is echoed across various spheres of thought, from ancient philosophies to modern psychological theories, each underscoring the value of embracing our vulnerability and the power of surrender as a path to genuine strength and connection. In the teachings of Buddhism, for instance, there is a strong emphasis on the concept of anatta, or not, self, which invites practitioners to let go of their attachment to a fixed identity. This surrender to the impermanent nature of self and the world cultivates resilience that stems from understanding our interconnection with all beings, fostering a compassionate, rich engagement with life. Modern psychology, too, 
acknowledges the strength inherent in vulnerability. Bren Brown, a researcher and storyteller, has extensively explored how vulnerability acts as a crucible for courage, connection, and creativity. In her book, Daring Greatly, Brown argues that vulnerability is not about winning or losing, but about the courage to show up when we can't control the outcome. This openness paves the way for deeper connections and a more authentic experience of life. Moreover, the philosophical tradition of Stoicism provides insights into the power of surrender through the concept of accepting what we cannot control while striving to act with virtue and wisdom within our sphere of influence. This Stoic acceptance, combined with active engagement in what lies within our control, teaches us the humility of recognizing our limitations and the strength that arises from focusing our energies where they can truly make a difference. Where they can truly make a difference. Navigating the delicate equilibrium between intentionality and detachment, between pursuing our dreams and trusting in the natural progression of life, unveils a path where challenges become opportunities for growth, and the journey itself becomes as valuable as the destination. This approach does not mean relinquishing our dreams or goals, but rather engaging with them in a way that acknowledges the complex, interwoven nature of existence. In embracing surrender and vulnerability, we do not exhibit weakness, but rather tap into a reservoir of inner strength that allows us to face life with courage and openness. This stance enables us to experience the richness of life fully, enriched by a deep sense of connection to the world around us and an appreciation for the beauty of the journey. Through this profound engagement with life, we discover that by letting go, we gain access to a depth of experience and a breadth of possibilities far beyond what forceful control could ever yield.